Hello YouTube, this is Taladin of Tal's Minecraft and welcome to my tutorial on how to do a larger red power uh, to sorting machine uh, or sorting setup. What we're doing today is I've got set up some condenser flowers here to pull out of and this is a pretty standard setup uh, and you'll notice I've gone ahead and filled them up with various items uh, food and redstone and gems and things like that. What we have is, I've noticed that on a lot of YouTube tutorials they show you how to set up sorting machines but they really don't go into how to make a sorting rig of uh, a larger size. You'll notice that each sorting machine can sort up to eight different columns and one, two, three, four, five different items in each column. So that's up to 45 items. However, it can only handle eight colors. Okay? You can't assign an individual color to each particular item. So what that leads us to is unless you're putting five different things in each chest, and I know a lot of people take and use multiple chests for single items or use a single chest for single items. Uh, that can lead to a little bit of a disconnect in how uh, how to understand how to do these sorting rigs. Uh, and this is a design that I came up with um, on my own Tekkit server for my uh, legitimate build. So it is not that difficult to come up with uh, with the materials to do it. Um, it is expandable and it is a, a pretty solid design. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, you notice over here I've got a set of batteries uh, set up to power it. You don't need, shouldn't need anywhere near this number of batteries. Um, but solar panels powering the batteries. Uh, and again, those are those are direct connect. Uh, this row here is sitting on top of uh, the row of batteries. Um, and that's that's to provide electricity to the system. Once you have electricity built up, and you're going to want to go ahead and build that first, so the batteries can be charging, and and that way you don't have to worry about uh, losing power while the system is running. What we've done here is we've gone through and we've separated out these rigs. Uh, I know that it will handle up to eight single chests or single destinations at once. Now you can put multiple sorters where uh, you could chain sorters to have them go out uh, like put each put five different things going to one sorter color five uh, other things going to another uh, sorter things like that um, now you could do that but I've found that this is probably one of the more compact setups so you'll notice that up here we've got our diamond chest and these are in the Technic pack, Tekkit pack, um, but it will work with any any chest, alchemical chest or whatever. And back here, you notice that I've got different colored pipes or tubes going to each each chest, and I've just gone in order. If you pull up uh, your NEI and type paint in there, you'll notice white, orange, magenta, light blue, yellow, and on down the line. I've simply gone in order for each bank of chest, and there are eight chests in this bank, four on top and four on bottom. White, orange, magenta, light, blue, yellow, lime, pink, gray. And then on the next bank, I've gone to light gray, cayenne, purple and blue, brown and green, red and black. And I alternate around the system like that. That way if for some reason uh, you forget to set up these panels here or these tubes here connect for some reason this sorter here will not try to send to these chests over here. It separates it out so there is no confusion in the system. Okay, again I've just done a simple sort up. I'm set up on the sorters sorting diamond blocks into the uh, white and orange iron blocks into the purple and or excuse me magenta and light blue lapis copper tin like that and over here 
red matter, dark matter, however you want to set up, set these items up. And again, you don't have to set up anything in all the colors. You can just take and set up your colors, your color banks, and then set items there so that you can expand it later on. Now you'll notice that I have gone ahead and set the colors on here so there is no confusion. And I've, then I've also changed it to the it's a it's like a random mode where it will just randomly pick out uh, any item that it finds in its columns it tries to pull from that way it doesn't get stuck on a single item trying to pull out of the chests um, the other thing that you want to do is you want to set up a retriever or multiple retrievers that are feeding into this system you can use any type of chest that you want to I prefer the small standard wooden chest because when it overflows, when the sorter stops working correctly, or if it stops working correctly, this will overflow sooner and let you know so that if you have to break this chest uh, for whatever reason, you don't have a complete flood of items all over the ground lagging you down. Uh, but again, you can use diamond chest or alchemical chest or whatever, whatever you want to use to be able to... Uh, be your buffer. Now there are buffers built in uh, and the rig may work better with a built-in buffer but I've, I've uh, thought about it and I still think that for me the chest is the best way to go. And again the sorter will pull out of this chest as it uh, pulses and it will sort into the correct colors. Now you'll notice that I have the blue tricity wire going all around here. I come up through a hole here that I've got. Uh, simply have it run through the side here, uh, if you can see for the slimes, and up through the ground. Um, and basically you can run e as many blue tricity lines to a machine as you want. It's not going to hurt it. Uh, in fact, it will actually parallel lines help uh, keep the resistance, char uh, resistance on the line down. So you're not going to hurt anything by uh, running multiple blue electricity lines like that. Um, and you'll notice I've got blue power to each one of these sorters and retrievers. And I also have, uh, oh, I've broken my line there, I need to fix that. Um, I also have uh, red power um, to each one of the devices and I'll show you that in just a second. Let me get this cover set up here. Everybody does make mistakes every now and then, so. Okay. Now let's get some wire here. And there, we're connected and good to go. Alright. You'll notice I have run over here a red power wire or red alloy wire coming from a timer. I am running this system off of a single timer. I've got jacketed cable here because the red alloy wire will not connect into the uh, redstone pneumatic tubes. It has to be jacketed wire. And then I connect my pulse wire to my uh, sorting system. And I just run it around, hit each sorting system, and then my retrievers are being pulsed through the red power wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn this on. And you'll notice on every pulse it's pulling items. Now a retriever will only pull from one source. I've got everything in, in these condensers set up to be sorted out into the system. However, it will only pull from that one source while it's while it's pulling in that uh, in that random mode. If it finds it, that's what it's going to pull. Uh, instead of trying to go through each item. That way you can empty a condenser pretty quick. Uh, and we'll go ahead and set these, get these set off here. Um, so it's not making more. But you will notice back up in here, each one of these is being wrapped with a particular color. That gives it the destination. Now even though I have set up these two chests here, or excuse me, the orange and the white chest to receive the diamond blocks. The diamond blocks will go to this chest until they fill up. The sorter is smart enough to know um, 
if that chest is full or not. So when it detects that that chest becomes full, it will then trip over to the orange and sort them to orange because that's what I've got it set as. Um, and this will run as pretty much as fast as you want it to. Uh, if I want to take it down to say 0.85 it will go that fast and it will pull items that fast. Now you can also put stacks of items into your retriever and it will pull stacks. However, if you do that, your buffer chests will fill up really quickly because unless you set it to sort stacks of items here, it will only sort singly. Okay, so if you put stacks of items in the retriever, you need to put stacks of items in your sorter and that way your buffer chest won't overflow. Now when your buffer chest fills up, let's say, let's just go ahead and fill this chest up. Now see this buffer chest is full and you notice it's sending diamond back here and it'll send it back over to where it came from because the retriever is jammed and this sorter is trying to sort but it can't sort any of these items out. So you'll notice that there's retrievers jammed and the moving moving icons uh, or moving parts of the texture pack should clue you into what is, uh, what is jammed and what is not. Another way to, uh, that the system can jam is if you have chests full. Say I only had one diamond chest or one chest for diamond and it was full. Then the sorter will jam on diamond and what you'll have to do is you'll have to check your chests see which one's full and start pulling stacks out the things you have to worry about on that are mostly using cobblestone so uh, if you if you set up a cobblestone chest and then walk away and forget about it uh, it will jam part of your system but the beauty of this system is that it's not a single it doesn't have a single point of failure for the entire system. You have multiple sorters here that are doing their own job. They're, you know, they're separated from each other. That way that if that sorter over there jams that's doing diamond, this sorter over here that's doing my dark matter, it doesn't care. It will still be able to sort. Uh, again, and this is the first uh, red power sorting rig that I've set up. I've done a lot with the uh, Buildcraft logistics pipes, but they are not available in the Tekkit currently. Um, so when I started my new Tekkit server, I was kind of at a loss on how to automate the sorting system and f fiddled around with this for about two or three days until I could uh, figure out how I wanted to do it logically. Um, and there it is it is a practical way to do it I know this seems like a lot of equipment uh, a lot of materials but once you get a condenser flower set up uh, it's actually really easy to produce the materials that you need for this um, because you can you can just manufacture those manufacture those goods uh, you can also tie in an ender chest into the system for a dump chest and have it automatically pull uh, sortable items out of that chest and it will leave items that are not sortable in that chest. Um, and I'll go ahead and log into my Tekkit server here and show you guys the uh, practical application of this. So what, we're, what we have here, uh, you'll notice this looks very familiar have my bank of chests set up and it goes all the way around the room and if I go down here into my maintenance closet behind these panel covers here um, and you'll notice it it highlights the panel covers kind of weird um, those are my pneumatic tubes that's uh, got the colors in them and here's my uh, here's my sorting system sorting out my lapis and my UU matter and red matter and all that uh, and you'll notice here very similar setup I've got all my different items color coded 
and I've got multiple retrievers going to the same chest. You can set up as many retrievers as you can input to the to the line going to the chest, um, and that way you can actually set up default routes uh, to handle unsortable stuff. I just haven't gotten around to that yet. Um, but you'll notice it is all running off of the Bluetricity wire here, and it's got the red power timing wire, uh, and it's it's doing the exact same rig. This was set up. Um, let's see, I've been running this server for about a week and a half, two weeks now, and I had all the materials to run this after about four days. So you can you can set this up. Uh, it just takes a little bit of patience and forethought. Um, and once you get the logic set up, uh, it's really not that difficult, uh, especially if you want to go in and add items to the system. You come off of, and there, there are pneumatic tubes under here. I can come off of pneumatic tubes to retrievers set up, you know, two or three floors below and have it automatically sorting into the system or pulling from the system like that. Um, you just have to tie in a pipe to pull from the system in. So uh, we we'll go over here. Uh, let's go back upstairs and I'll show you what I was talking about making dump chests. Uh, this makes it really, really easy. Let's say we want to take some scrap. And I've got some other stuff that can be sorted out. And you notice I've got dump chest, dump chest here. All these items are not set up to be sorted yet, so they stay in the chest. But if I dump my red matter in here, you notice that it automatically starts going down. Uh, it's pulling; it'll pull it out of the chest and sort it. And over here, I've also got an inner chest set up that is tied into the system. It just has has a pneumatic tube running from it, and you can put as many items in there as will fit, and it will pull out of those. It will pull out of those items. So, if you're adventuring and you have your ender pouch tied to your ender chest and you have everything set up to sort, you can go in here and tell it to, and I've actually got, I don't have steak sorted yet, but you see it's sorting out my pork chops here. As long as you're within range of this chest, uh, it will sort or you can fill your ender bag up and as soon as you get back within range, it will start sorting. Uh, just as soon as it is the chunks become active. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you try to do an assembly system, and I've, I've been working on trying to set up a uh, set uh, setup where I can do project tables, where it would automatically pull. If you hook a retriever to this system that, if you hook a retriever to this system that doesn't have any assigned slots in it, it will pull anything and everything from the system whatever's closest it will start pulling so you will pull uh, you'll start pulling all your dark matter or your, all your red matter or whatever so if you set up banks of retrievers cut them off of the system until you have them assigned and set up uh, or you'll end up losing a lot of your stuff because it will lag you out and it'll, it'll start uh, timing out or, or uh, despawning items um, while you try to get everything picked up and sorted. That I have learned from experience in my practical um, practical setup here. So learn, uh, take it from me, you don't want to set up a bunch of retrievers to the system that are not assigned and then pulse them because they will start pulling everything uh, from the system. Anyways, uh, I think that's a good stopping point. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, also, if you like what you see, go ahead and like, favorite, subscribe, all that. Um, and come on over to twitch.tv slash taladin and check me out over there.